Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes knit and today I have a finished object for you, this beautiful hat. Here it is, Harlow, I hope I'm saying it right, hat by Andrea Murray. I hope I'm saying that right too. <laughs> and this is my first time ever brioche hat, so let me know down below have you ever tried to knit brioche. Apparently there's a different uh, knitting brioche in the round or flat, so at the moment this is this was knitted in the round. Maybe first things first, this is a paid for pattern. So if you're looking for this pattern, link is down below. What you need to know about it, there are three sizes and, <laughs> and I made a huge mistake uh, because normally when I see uh, a cast on certain stitches and in the brackets, we have another one, another one, I presume that we have small, medium and large size, but that's not the case. We have a kid size, small size and large size. So yeah, I was knitting a small size, although in my head I thought it's a medium and in the pattern there was like, skip this if you're like large size, skip this if you're large and small size. And I was like, yeah, true, I'm knitting medium. So I really make a fool of myself sending an email to Andra and saying, Andra, I think you're missing a medium over that <laughs> and she said well there's no medium in this pattern and i was like oopsie so yeah just to let you know over here refers to kids small and large so i learned a lot i learned how to do tubular cast on uh, basically like the string then a brioche knit brioche pearl and uh, brioche to right, brioche to the left, so when you do creasing, and I dropped stitch, so I had to learn how to do that too. Although the first four things, the cabular to cast on, the two rows preparations, um, the first um, brioche knit stitch and pearl stitch is included in the pattern in the links for English and Continental. So I'm telling you, get it if you have never knitted brioche because Andrea is doing an amazing job over there, like, you know, amazing I was able to knit it uh, so obviously I had fun because you're going along as long as you want or as short as you want and and then we're going to the creases and not only I made a boo-boo because I thought that we we're skipping stuff uh, I'm actually misread first row uh, decrease information. The pattern is written in, not in the standard column, well standard the way I really like to read it. Um, it's, it's, it's more magazine style so in this pattern you have two columns so everything is written like a description could have like three lines. Um, so somehow I just missed a bit and I forgot something and I had to frog eight rounds of brioche so I was going one by one and yeah then I learned how to frog with two strands at the same time so that's a new thing a new experience so the only thing therefore therefore the only thing I think I'm missing is to knitting in the flat how to bind off brioche and how to create a stitch in brioche to the right and left I think that's what I'm missing but at the moment I'm fine what I can do and the only thing is also that I have to look at my knitting and for a standard knit uh, I just I don't <laughs> so anyway if you're a continental knitter what I can tell you um, the brioche stitch everyone says it's like light yarn over and knit I would now when I can knit it I would say for me it's more like I was scooping at the yarn to always have two strands like if you had a color work uh, but instead of having it behind the stitch you had it on your needle um, and there's a rule that you always 
knit or purl, depends what you're doing, knit or purl, um, when you see on your left needles two strands. And if you see just one standard knit stitch or purl stitch, you just scoop that yarn to create those two strands go going over the needle. That's basically how I kind of understand that. <sighs> and you know what, all that frogging and uh, dropping stitches kind of teach you or taught me how to, how all that stuff works works together I would say so good lesson and I can thank for amazing lessons so this lesson so this pattern to Lily from Nordic Stitches so thank you so much she was knitting the same pattern at the same time as I was knitting so when I was all that fussed about like what am I doing wrong and I tried to find a solution to my errors as she stood there for me and she finished and she was knitting her with her hand spun yarn which you need to check it out it's beautiful amazing hat and she's also enjoying it greatly and yeah so Lily thank you so much there are over 700 projects with this pattern so I would recommend you to go and check it out because people make an amazing color combinations that uh, you can have a hint or um, idea what to do. This heart hat is knitted with fingering and like I said I knitted a small size but it's very loose. Yep. I'll definitely have a few ideas what I could do with brioche stitch now in regards patterns so we shall see how it goes maybe I will create something in the future who knows okay so let's maybe move on to uh, tools I use quickly I use this amazing bag that I made ladies and gentlemen by myself and we have information over here hat my keychains and then I was knitting with two beautiful uh, yarns and the pattern tells you that you would need 30 grams of each fingering yarn to knit a hatter approximately so you know probably normally design it puts a little bit more I haven't weighted it weighted it anyway I haven't checked how heavy it is so on the screen you will see now how heavy it is so how much I use so obviously it's a 50 50 that's how much you if you divide by two you will get how much I need so what yarn did I use um, I saw brioche and people knitting brioche and it kind of, some people say that brioche can't be um, blocked and stuff. So I saw that brioche stitch, you know, thing is kind of wonky and stuff uh, when you're knitting it. So um, I was a little bit afraid. Therefore, I thought I'll go and kind of think about um, a blend of yarn that I'm going to use. So I used quite interesting yarn over here and I really like the effect I'm going to give you close up in a sec but first let's talk about these. So first yarn that I got I got it from Amber from Yarn Hoarder podcast and if you don't know who Amber is I will put a link down below to her podcast and my first time I heard about Amber was on Baker Bear's podcast and I think in episode 60 she was uh, interviewed over that so if you want to see her first ever uh, performance on YouTube check that episode I maybe leave link down below if I'm if I'm wrong at 60 uh, I will write down over here that it's wrong but anyway I put the link to the right one I think I mentioned her on my podcast when I saw because she was amazing she is amazing and she sent me some goodies and she sent me a few yarns and this is one uh, yarn that she sent to me and maybe on the screen I'm going to show you over here Kismet Kismet and the color is Limoncello I think um, we have an interesting blend like I said as, as I told you it is a silk fingering so we have over here 50% uh, superwash merino and 50% silk on the screen if you want to see it check it out and then I had this yarn and I'm going to write down down below because I lost a label I'm not sure about the color that I'm using but definitely um, what it is it is um, knit one crochet two I think that's how we call it and this is also a sink bl silk blend over here so on the screen you have written down um, I knitted something with different color but just to let you know about the blend so maybe now I'll take it off and I'll show you how it looks so here it is and I haven't blocked my hat I don't really block any of my finished objects <laughs> most of the time and as you can see it's it gives a really straight line which is unbelievable because I'm not such a nice um, knitter in regards even you know <laughs> basic knit and purl 
I'll show you the other side and here how it looks. So this is my wrong side and this is my right side. I picked my tags over here. Love wool is, I think it's from the wall, love wool. I have similar long tags for color because um, in others we have a heart and in case you want a heart placed over here, like on my last sweater, um, check the, the color ones, not the other ones because the other one would be in, in case you could uh, create a brim but this tag is really cool because it's really reversible I can I can have it like this or I can flip it up or I can completely go like this three options right you're probably thinking what I'm wearing I'm going to leave it down below this is a bobe cardigan and I recorded a finished object video because on this channel you can find a playlist and stuff like hats socks garments, toys that I've knitted, also a longer uh, episode when I chit chat what's on my needles like whips uh, and a few vlogs um, so I hope you're going to enjoy it. Okay I think that's all. One more thing that I think it's left is what needles I used. I think the pattern calls for bigger needles but I went with I went with three millimeters, which is US size. That's what it says on the thing. One more thing left, it's needles. I used three millimeters, which is US size 2.5. And I used um, Haya Haya's interchangeable, so tips and, and the cable. This is a small cable, um, the name because of the connectors. And the length of the cable is 16 inches, which is 40 centimeters. But unfortunately for the creases, I was a little bit scared to do my method, which basically I just pulled one uh, tip, one needle and just knit through it. Um, I had to use a longer cable and this is, and these are knit pros. I don't remember the tips interchangeable too. Here, my lovely knitting, my lovely both flower power circular pouch. Um, yeah, I probably took some photos on Instagram, so maybe I'll put it up here, maybe one or two that I like to put. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you have loads of hats on your needles. Go check the cows that I'm posting, annual cows. So if you're listening to it, it's still up there. One is knit a hat cow, other one is knitting crocheting make along. Uh, so check it out, I would say, and I hope to see you next one. Don't forget to use hashtag knitting I love. Tag me if you can, if you want to show me something on Instagram, say hi to me, don't afraid to do that. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.